Hello everyone. Welcome to iQuanta. Today's question of the day is based upon escalators. Many of you might be familiar with this topic, but for those who are not, we'll be learning the concept first and then we'll see how to solve the questions, okay? So the topic escalators it is in time speed distance. Now in time speed distance only one formula is enough to solve all the question which is equal to distance equal to speed into time. Now when we talk about escalators the concept of escalators is exactly similar to that of boat and streams now what are the basics of boats and streams basically we have a flowing stream and there is a, a boat which is flowing on that stream now stream flows in a particular direction so speed of the stream will be taken as s but when we talk about the boat it can either move in the direction of stream or it can travel in the opposite direction to that of the stream so if the boat is flowing in the similar direction to that of the stream if i take the speed of boat as b then the net speed of the boat will be b plus s because it is flowing with the stream so this is the speed when boat and stream are in the same direction they are going in the same direction if they are going in the opposite direction the speed or the net speed of the boat will be taken as b minus s this is when the boat and stream they are moving in opposite directions you will be learning all this in the upcoming sessions of high quanta so the concept of escalators is exactly similar what do we do in escalators in escalators the escalator it becomes the stream okay i hope this is clear while the person who is traveling on that particular escalators he is taken as the boat so one thing that you might have seen in an escalator that it has a certain number of steps on it so that means the man who is on the escalator he has to climb some certain number of steps while we talk about boat and streams the boat has to cross a particular distance flowing with or opposite to the stream so the distance in case of escalators it is taken as steps now let us move ahead with the question so the question given was a man can walk up a moving up escalator in 30 seconds the same man can walk down this moving up escalator in 90 seconds moving ahead assume that his walking speed is same upwards and downwards how much time will he take to walk up the escalator when it is not moving so we have an escalator there will be a certain distance that the man will travel so let us assume that the distance is l or d whatever now in the first line we were given that man can walk up a moving up escalator in 30 seconds so that means man is also walking up and the escalator is also moving up that means the escalator and man they are moving in the same direction that means the net speed will be added net speed of the man will be let me assume speed of man as m escalator as e so while they are moving in the same direction the man covers the escalator in 30 seconds so time will be 30 this is basically distance upon speed equal to time which is 30 seconds so this is one equation that we get moving ahead the same man can walk down now the man is walking down this moving up escalator the escalator is still moving up in 90 seconds so the distance will still be l now in this case they are traveling in opposite direction the man is walking down the escalator is going up so net speed of the man will be m minus e and that is covered in 90 seconds so this is equation number 2 so now we have two equations ultimately we are asked that how much time will he take to walk up the escalator when it is not moving so escalator is not moving that means speed of escalator will be zero now so we need to find out when the man is walking up so l upon m we have to find out value of l upon m because this is the time that the man will take to walk up the escalator and the escalator is not moving its speed is zero so using the first two equations if i divide equation 1 by equation 2 so i'll be getting m minus e upon 
एम प्लस ई इक्वल टू थर्टी बाई नाइन्टी इन दी आर एच एस विच विल बिकम वन बाई थ्री सो इफ यू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई थ्री एम माइनस थ्री ई विल बी इक्वल टू एम प्लस ई विल बी गेटिंग टू एम इक्वल टू फोर ई विच विल गिव मी एम इक्वल टू टू ई और ई इक्वल टू एम बाई टू वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एल अपॉन एम सो वी कैन यूज द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन वी कैन रिप्लेस दिस वैल्यू ऑफ ई इन टर्म्स ऑफ एम सो वॉट विल वी गेट वील गेट एल अपॉन एम प्लस ई विल बी हैविंग वैल्यू एम बाई टू फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन सो एम बाई टू दिस विल बी इक्वल टू थर्टी वेन वी सॉल्व दिस इन डिनोमिनेटर वी गेट थ्री एम बाई टू सो वील गेट टू एल बाई थ्री एम इक्वल टू थर्टी वेन यू सॉल्व दिस फर्दर यू विल बी गेटिंग वैल्यू ऑफ एल अपॉन एम इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव so 45 seconds will be taken by that man to walk up the escalator when it is not moving i hope the concept is clear now so basically the questions of tsd they will check your comprehensive skills as well if you comprehend well you can easily find out the answer let's move to the next question now now the second question is ravi and rakesh are climbing on a moving escalator that is going up so the escalator is moving upwards Ravi takes 30 steps to reach the top whereas Rakesh takes 32 steps for the same that means to reach the top this happens because Rakesh is faster than Ravi so Rakesh is faster than Ravi speed of Rakesh will be more than that of Ravi for every 4 steps that Rakesh takes Ravi takes only 3 steps what is the total number of steps in the escalator so Ravi is taking 30 steps while Rakesh is taking 32 steps to reach the top now we were given here that for every four step that Rakesh takes Ravi takes only three steps that means we can say that in one second Rakesh is taking four steps then in that one second Ravi will take only three steps so i can say that speed of Rakesh can be written as four steps per second while the speed of ravi can be taken as 3 steps per second now we have steps that rakesh is taking we have steps that ravi is taking to reach the top we have the speeds as well so we can find out the time that was taken by rakesh it will be distance by rakesh which is 32 steps upon the speed of rakesh which is 4 steps per second that means rakesh will be taking 8 seconds to reach the top if we talk about ravi time by ravi will be distance by ravi upon speed of ravi so distance by ravi that means 30 steps and he is taking 3 steps per second so that means he is taking 10 seconds to reach the top now in the question we were clearly given that the escalator is also moving so there will be some speed of the escalator so let us assume that speed of escalator is e or let me write this as e steps per second now at last we have been asked what is the total number of steps in the escalator that means the distance covered by both would remain the same it is just a case that one is taking less number of steps one is taking more number of steps so distance by ravi will be equal to distance covered by rakesh they will be the same distance by ravi that means time by ravi into speed of ravi so when ravi is moving his net speed would be he is taking 3 steps per second along with that the escalator is also moving at a speed of e steps per second so 3 plus e would be the net speed of ravi now ravi is taking 10 seconds to cover the distance so this will be multiplied by 10 similarly for rakesh he is moving at 4 steps per second along with rakesh the escalator was also moving at a speed of e so that will be added and time taken by rakesh was 8 so from this if you calculate the value of e it would be 1 that means one step per second so now we have the value of e we can easily find out the number of steps or the distance covered by both of them it would be given by any of these two that means 10 into 3 plus e which will be 10 into 3 plus e is 1 so 40 there are 40 steps in the escalator so the correct answer to this would be option b so i hope you have understood how to tackle these questions 
question on escalator are similar to that of boat and streams if you have any doubt please comment apart from that if you have any quant lrdi or verbal doubt you can put it on the cat preparation i quanta group on facebook it will be solved for free we are already putting one question per day on our youtube channel with video solution so if you want notifications for that please subscribe to the channel thank you for listening